Hello, I'm Morgan Crowley and I'm in the production of The Irish and How They Got That Way at the Ivoryton Playhouse. And it's great to have you, Morgan. Thank you, Jackie. Now, had you heard about this show before you actually came? You came over here from Dublin? From Dublin, yeah. yeah. I just finished a West End production of The Christmas Carol by Dickens and then came over to join the company here. Right. And, uh, and had you heard anything about the show before? I'd only heard that the um, New York, the Irish Repertory Theatre had done it some time ago. And uh, otherwise, no, I didn't actually know the script at all. But it's, um, I think it's because Frank McCourt is better known for Angela's Ashes. So I'd heard of Frank McCourt. The Irish and how they got that way, sure, I've been living that. <laughs> so, did you know all the songs in the show? No, not at all. Which is very interesting, because it's great to come to a show about the Irish, where there may be a presumption that you know all the information already, and actually to learn. So I'm learning lots of things, historical dates, connections mm -hmm. with people who have Irish backgrounds, and also songs. And of course, songs. some of the songs are Irish-American, so they, would, they may well be exactly. new. Funnily enough, the Irish-American ones are probably more famous, because you've right. got Give My Regards to Broadway, mm -hmm. Grand Old Flag, which I didn't know, but I knew the tune, mm -hmm. and uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy, so they're great. But they are some beautiful tunes in the show, though. Mm -hmm. And now tell me, so you've done quite a few Irish shows though in your time. I tell have. us a little bit about that. Well, probably the most famous one would be Riverdance. So that's got, that's I mean, taken on a life of its own. We mm -hmm. did that across four continents and wow. it's still going. There's four or five productions, I think, of Riverdance still going around the world. Wow. And that was a fantastic experience because that kind of redefined Irish theatre. Not mm -hmm. that it's particularly theatrical, but it certainly is a, a big mm -hmm. piece. So that was probably the most well-known Irish one. And I did Playboy the Western World years ago. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going back in April around the time of Bloomsday in Ireland to do the, there's a new multimedia production. It's a world premiere for the fancy word that they like to give these things. Of a, They're basing it on the opening night of Playboy the Western World at what was the old Abbey Theatre in oh. Dublin in 1907, I believe. And they're recreating the theatre because they knocked down the Abbey Theatre. So they've actually got stones from the original Abbey Theatre and they're recreating it using multimedia projections and video jockeys and disc jockeys and sound bites and, and then me in the middle of all that. So, Wonderful. Yeah. So now, the theater is great. Yeah, so now explain to people though who may not know about Juneteenth and Bloomsday yes. what that is. Bloomsday is a celebration of um, basically characters from James Joyce's Ulysses. So James Joyce is one of Ireland's most famous writers and uh, he wrote Ulysses, which is this stream of consciousness kind of novel and in it there are characters including Leopold Bloom. And so now there is Bloomsday in Ireland in April, I think it's April 16th. Not sure about the date actually. Oh, I thought it was June. June, it June is June. because they call it Juneteenth. There, oh, there you go. Yes. So what's in April then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're celebrating something in April. In April, maybe it's James Joyce's birthday or maybe something. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. And then, uh, so then they'll probably take this production again back to Trinity College in June. Mm -hmm. Who knows? So there's the information I need to learn as well.